Hello, space explorers. Imagine a giant that's a million to a billion times heavier than our sun, hiding in the dark, swallowing everything that crosses its path. Yes, we're talking about supermassive black holes. Today, we're going to delve into the mystery of how these space giants form. It's going to be a fun and mind-blowing journey, so stay with us. So what exactly are supermassive black holes? Supermassive black holes are the giants of the universe. They're much bigger than regular black holes with the weight of a million to a billion suns. We think every big galaxy, like our Milky Way, has one at its center. Our own supermassive black hole, called Sagittarius A, is four million times heavier than the sun. Scientists think there could be millions or billions of these massive black holes in the universe. They do some amazing things, like helping shape galaxies and start new stars. They can also shoot out powerful energy jets that are brighter than all the stars in their galaxy. They're so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape their pull. They have disks of hot material around them that give off X-rays and other bright lights. Some even spin so fast they twist the space and time around them. But even though we know a lot about supermassive black holes, there's still so much we don't know. They're one of the most exciting things in space to study because they always keep us guessing. But how did these monstrous cosmic phenomena come into existence? That's a question that has been perplexing scientists for decades. There are a couple of leading theories, the small seed theory and the large seeds theory, starting with the small seed theory. It postulates that supermassive black holes began as stellar black holes. These are formed from the remnants of the earliest, massive stars that ended their lives in spectacular supernovae explosions, leaving behind a seed black hole. These seeds gradually accumulated mass over billions of years, pulling in surrounding gas and dust, growing and evolving into the supermassive black holes we observe today. On the other hand, we have the large seed theory. It suggests that supermassive black holes were born big, Around 100 million years after the Big Bang, areas of the universe with a higher density of gas collapsed under their own gravity to form quasi-stars or direct collapse black holes, skipping the stellar phase. These large seeds then had a head start on their growth, rapidly ballooning into supermassive black holes. Each theory has its own set of implications for the early universe and provides a different lens through which we can view these cosmic titans. So which one is correct? Well, that's still an open question, and it's quite possible that both scenarios have played out across the universe. While both stellar black holes and supermassive black holes share some common characteristics, such as being regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape, there are some crucial differences. For starters, they differ vastly in mass and size. Supermassive black holes, are millions to billions of times more massive than our sun, while stellar black holes are just a few times more massive. It's these differences that make studying supermassive black holes so fascinating. To wrap up our cosmic journey, supermassive black holes are compelling cosmic behemoths. They challenge our understanding of physics, play a crucial role in shaping the universe, and continue to puzzle scientists about their origins. As we continue to gaze into the depths of the universe, we are sure to uncover even more fascinating secrets of these mysterious entities, offering us a more profound understanding of the cosmos we inhabit. Until then, keep looking up and keep wondering.